Hey everyone, it's me Kyla Marie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be answering some questions regarding the establishment of multi-grade classrooms and at the same time sharing of thoughts together with my groupmates. Well, the given scenario is not present in my community, but I do believe some factors why this scenario exists are due to the small number of students for each grade level, the shortage of teachers, the distance from the community to the nearest school, and the inadequacy of funds and classrooms. A pleasant day, everyone. In this video, we are going to share our answers about the topic factors contributing to multi-grade, multi-age, and multi-level classrooms. First, we have here a scenario of Mr. Mrs. Jones, rather, and in, under this scenario, um, we'll be having three questions to answer. And for the first question, it is Ms. Zane Imperial, who are going to give her thoughts. Ms. Zane. Thank you, ma'am. So by working as a multi-grade teacher, Mrs. Jones learns a variety of skills, enjoys better learner-teacher's relationship, develops organizational and managerial skills, develops strong community, and reinforces her self-esteem. Thank you for that answer. And to give her thoughts about the second question, in number one, we have Ms. Giselle Tagoy. Mrs. Jones can make her workload lighter by first increasing the involvement of the community, no. second giving learners additional responsibility, and no. lastly developing a richer learning environment for the children. Now let us proceed to um, number one, letter C. So I'll be the one to answer. So the factors that contributed to the existence of some of the multi-grade in schools area are the following. We have geographical factors, political factors, cultural and socio-economic factors. And for the second question, there are um, major benefits of multi-grade when it comes to teacher. We have greater understanding of learners, better classroom management, better relationship with the community, and development of self-esteem. And in uh, the part of the learners, we have better social skills, richer learning environment, better teacher and learner relationship, understanding increased learning, and development of self-esteem. Now we are going to proceed in the question number three, letter A. So the similarities among the three cases um, are the following. We have all schools are located in rural areas. All schools have multi-grade classes. Schools are lacked with resources and the class sizes are small and um, teachers have no little or no, no um, in-service development. And to give her thoughts for the letter B in number three, we have Ms. Kyla Marie Paglinawan. Thank you. So for the next question, I can say that Multi-grade teaching would most likely be the only type of schooling available in remote communities because this is the most alternative for improving rural education. It can be an effective means of raising students' outcomes and expanding educational access in poor communities. And for the next question, the factors contributing to the establishment of multi-grade school are cultural and socio-economic factors, greater community involvement, development of a healthy competition, greater understanding between learners and educators, and richer learning environment. These factors truly affect the teaching and learning process in multi-grade school because it gives a stable and reliable environment for the children of mixed ages and abilities provided with best opportunities to collaborate with older learners who serve as role models. Thank you. Thank you for that, Ms. Kyla Marie. And to answer the letter D and letter E in question number three, may I hear your thoughts, Ms. Zaini Makario? Yes. So to answer the question letter D, I think that a family-like setting and learning environment in multi-grade schools have positive effects on emotional stability and academic performance of the students. 
As they say, the teacher is our second mother or father. And in this family-like setting, students and teachers are very attached to each other. It is easy for them to communicate and express their feelings comfortably. Thus, it helps students emotionally not to be scared with their teacher, but instead to feel safe and secure. And the same goes with their academic performances. They also feel motivated and inspired to do well in class because they treat each other like family. So for, um, so for the next question is, as the multi-grade teachers, it is very exhausting to teach different grade levels simultaneously. In teaching, you have different things to consider about your students. It is necessary that multi-grade teachers put together a plan of how to teach students. For me, I think that the students should know the teachers, rather, should know that the students, the students first and assess them according to their learning style. In this way, teachers will be able to come up with teaching strategies and other pedagogies for teaching them. Also, it will help them, the students to learn the lesson more effectively because it is based on their interest and learning style. Thank you. For that, Ms. Zaini Makario, and to answer letter F in number three, may I hear your thoughts again, Ms. Suzanne Imperial. So, teaching students with various learning ability involves creativity, time, and a desire to understand how a student learns best. With the right tools, teachers can reach each of their students no matter how different the styles of learning may be. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Uh, Suzanne Imperial, and for the last question, we have uh, Ms. Giselle Tagoy to answer this question. Inclusive educational practice provides opportunities for all young people to learn together by removing learning barriers. It also addresses the issues that concern all individuals who are vulnerable to exclusion from education. To promote in inclusion in schools, here are some strategies to put into practice. First is excellence in teaching and learning. Promote a positive learning climate, embrace students' diversity, and lastly, encourage student interactions. Thank you so much, and that would be all about this video. God bless. In our neighboring barangay, specifically in Tupas, Rwanda, there are two teachers teaching combined class in Tupas Elementary School. One teacher teaches grade 3 and grade 4, and the other teacher teaches grades 5 and 6. The factors that leads to the development of the school are due to the distance from the community to the nearest school, the shortage of teachers, and the lack of access to public transportation. Also, Barangay Tupas is a small community compared to the neighboring barangay, and as a result, multi-grade class exists. As a future teacher assigned to a multi-grade class, I will implement a healthy competition among my learners. But of course, I want to be open to all the possible results because, with all honesty, implementing a healthy competition among my learners may be beneficial and could be a barrier at the same time. This is beneficial in a way that my learners are encouraged to compete against themselves. There is also a transparency about competition performance and create a culture of cheerleading and good sportsmanship. Yet, it could be a barrier also because it brings an external dimensions into the equation and weakens the student's intrinsic motivation. It also increases the level of anxiety or threat and promotes a tendency to take on a mentality defined by fear of failure. I can improve my performance and be more effective multi-grade teacher someday by being flexible, creative, and innovative educator in imparting knowledge to my learners. There are some factors that have led to the establishment of multi-grade school. First is the geographical factors. The school is in a small community in a remote area, far away from larger towns or villages, and where the population is small. Second, political factors, where the majority of small multi-grade schools are in remote and isolated areas and sometimes close to the country boundaries. Third, cultural factors. Students are a part of the community economy. 
and as a result, they have to perform certain chores like agricultural or handicraft skills before they go to school. And lastly, socioeconomic factors in which all children should have equal access to education, independent of where they live. Multi-grade schools resemble a family setting. As a result of this, children in these schools are more stable emotionally. They can also learn certain things better from their peers just as they would from siblings. Most importantly, they may learn better overall.